G'day guys and welcome to another Fix It Fingers Quick Fix. Today, 1970s sliding aluminium windows. My building is full of them and it's not really a product review because I know the stuff works. I've had to repair quite a few of them over the years. Today, I'd like to introduce a product which is off the shelf and will hopefully make your life fixing a window that doesn't slide properly a lot easier. There are two things that can go wrong. This will solve one of them. The other one's a little bit cheaper. Let's check them out and show you the steps involved to get this thing sliding smooth again. Right, first up, some tools. Apart from the Miracle Track, which we'll go into in a second, I use my hacksaw, a couple of screwdrivers, some cork in the gun, the file, a clamp, tape measure of course, and that steg bar packet are little window rollers, but you can get those from Bunnings as well. You will have to check them to see which brand you need, and a dustpan for cleaning up. Not pictured, also gonna have to get a vacuum into play. So here's the problem. You can see that this 50 year old window simply does not slide very well. There are two things that can cause this issue. So quickly lift the thing out and take it somewhere safe. This is the first one. These little crappy wheels often just break under the sheer weight of the window. Luckily, they are very cheap to replace and you can find packets of them from a window manufacturer like I did or from your big box store too. Usually a very simple matter of unscrewing and replacing with a new unit. However, this is not going to be the end of the story because often if these wheels have been broken for a while, what has happened is that the weight of the window and the busted wheel have simply destroyed the aluminium track on which those wheels used to roll. So if you give it a good clean like I have and installed your shiny new wheels, they still look pretty crap, don't they? But hey, we might as well and you put your window back and it still doesn't slide properly, then we'll get to the main point of this video, which is covering up the old busted track with this new miracle track. Pretentious name, but it does work. Here's what I'm talking about. Mind the dust. See that shiny, divoted, bent little bit of aluminium down there? Well, that's what's causing the problem. It can also cause the window to drop slightly too. So we need to fix that because otherwise the only other solution I know of is to replace the whole window. Quickly get rid of a few years of dirt and grime, brush it away and suck it up with the vacuum. And now let's take a look at our miracle track. It is not cheap. I think this is about 50 bucks for the 2.3 meters. It is solid steel and there are a few different varieties. I had two on hand, type one and type three. Type three is a little bit more versatile. It'll go over a number of different styles of track. Type one will work for your standard thin aluminum. The higher number types are actually made for doors. You can do this on roller doors too, but we're gonna stick with the windows today. So you can see it's very simple. It's just a U shape of steel that we're going to cut to the correct length. So it helps if we measure that out. Go a little bit short. It doesn't matter if it doesn't reach all the way to the end. You don't need to be millimeter perfect here. Using my crosscut sled as a bench hook, clamping down the track securely. Doing this back in your workshop would probably be better, but I am lazy. This stuff is tough. That is a brand new hacksaw blade I had in there. And even so, it took me a minute or two to get through. Had to rotate it halfway for a nice clean cut. But we were soon at the right length. And I just grabbed a file to knock off the burrs and sharp edges. So I don't cut myself up during installation. Now, I've actually found this step is a little bit optional depending on how damaged your track is, but if you get some builder's bog or some silicon, in my case, just run a small amount. You don't want it squeezing out too much down the bottom, but it will help to seat and stick your track in the window. Now, apologies, this was very, very difficult to film. You simply can't get the right angle. So here is a dramatic reenactment of sliding the track over the old busted rail and being very, very careful to line it up. Now this stuff will bend, so don't manhandle it too much. You wanna make sure you're seated well over and then push it down evenly. I only need to hold it for a few seconds just so that silicon will grip and you should have a nice cushioned steel surface for your window to be reinstalled on. The best way to seat it down properly, get your bloody window back on there with some nice fresh wheels Roll it backwards a few times. Not only will this force your track down to the correct position, but you can also test to make sure it is improved. And look at that, two fingers can slide it backwards and forwards. 
it's literally taken about 10 to 15 minutes to repair a window from non-functional to being bright and shiny. Here you can see the track in its position. Again, apologies, tricky angle to film. And this ain't rocket science, people. It is a basic product that will cost you a little bit of money, but it will get the job done. And there you go, the Miracle Track, which I got from Bunnings. It isn't the cheapest product, but it's given this window a new lease on life. Replacing the whole box was probably the only other measure I could have taken. So for the meantime, that's running better than the day it was made. Go and check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you're after other quick DIY and fix it fingers tips, then hang around on this channel by subscribing and you can get my regular woodworking video as well as my fibers series focused on beginners woodworking right here too. I'll see you next week.